Here are some of the reasons that your adult children may not wish to have a relationship with you anymore. My name is Dr. Natalie Jones and I'm a licensed psychotherapist and I do work with victims of abuse as well as perpetrators of abuse. And I've also spent quite a bit of time working with victims of childhood trauma. And I think more and more children, adult children, are starting to estrange themselves from parents. And I can just offer some perspective as a therapist who works with um, children who engage in parental estrangement from their parents. Um, so one of the reasons that children may estrange themselves from you, um, if you are, or if you have a history of being a toxic or selfish parent um, and what this may look like is you always prioritize yourself above your children's welfare um, your children were an afterthought maybe you were kind of in and out of your children's lives maybe you struggled with addiction and your addiction came before your children um, if you were abusive to your children and if you chose um, your romantic partners over your children and I'm just gonna you know I'm gonna keep throwing out some reasons there and I want us to try to be honest with ourselves also another thing that may happen and that I've experienced this in working with um, victims of narcissistic abuses um, typically you may have a narcissistic parent and a non-narcissistic parent um, a lot of times non-narcissistic parents can um, experience estrangement from their children because the children are oftentimes manipulated by their narcissistic parent and they're fed like a lot of lies. Um, they are intentionally kept away um, from the non-abusive parent. Um, so if the other parent has more money and means or, you know, just has... Uh, you know a lot more resources in, or in an effort to keep the children away um, then that can also happen um, other reasons why um, children may stay away from their parents or estrange themselves is that they they were the adult in the relationship so if the child feels like oh I've always taken care of my parents um, I'm, I've always been the, the caretaker of the other family members and my parent really wasn't there for me. Those, that could be another reason. And still yet another reason may be, um, you know, if, uh, if they feel like their parents don't know them at all. So there are a lot of people that, you know, transition from childhood to adulthood and their parents have no vested interest in getting to know them as adults. They know nothing about them. They don't know anything about their lives, what they're into, anything about their career, their ambitions. And some of them may not even know where their children live or, you know, what their dating life is like or, you know, just the day-to-day -day things of what's going on in their lives. Like the parents are just not invested there are some parents also too um, that can actually have narcissistic children so narcissistic children is actually a thing um, and so if your child is a narcissist particularly if he is a young boy a male narcissist uh, but also females too um, they can become all or nothing either you give me what I want in terms of money and resources or I want nothing to do with you so if you if you can't do for me the way that I want you to do then my love is conditional and I don't want to have a relationship with you or you know until I need something I'm never gonna call you or contact you and I don't really care how you're doing otherwise so that can be another reason um, sometimes children um, you know they may have other incidences so for example if you if you went through some trauma in your childhood and maybe you might have been removed from your parents care even if it was temporarily for you know maybe substance abuse or something like that by CPS um, that trauma does play a part 
and as you become older um, you you remember things you think about things that may have happened even if things might have been okay for a while you do remember and you want to disconnect you want to um, take a break from you know what the the you want to take a break from those memories and that pain um, that that parent has still caused so those are just some of the reasons that's not everything oh and another thing that I I also remember is uh, finances if your parents are very needy um, on you for finances finances and resources or if your parents have ever stolen uh, from you financially so that means if they've opened up credit cards used your social security number if they have stolen money from your trust um, things like that you may find yourself um, disconnecting from that toxic parent I hope that this helps and again this list is not completely exhaustive but I only have so much time here bye, -bye.